Matt, three wins in a week, a real professional display today to get the 1-0 win against Tranmere. Your thoughts on that one, please? Yeah, I mean, the second half especially, I thought we were great. It was one-way traffic for the majority of the second half. I thought first half, although I thought we played some great football at times, um, which I think we did, and we, uh, we, we cut them open in certain areas of the pitch, I just felt like we were probably our own worst enemy at times with the chances that we gave away to it. So just slightly adjusted it. Obviously, we brought Jamil on um, uh, for the second half. I thought Isaac, it just wasn't that game. The way that they created this, they really condensed the space in the middle of the pitch and it just wasn't the game for, for Ice today. And, and obviously, he'll come again because what a great player he is. Um, but on the day, it just felt like we needed the, the, the big presence of them too. And um, I think they beat them up. Second half, completely beat them up. And um, I'm delighted for Jamil to get the goal. He's had a tough week for a few different reasons, which I won't go into. Um, but it, you know, the the family, our family, the the Warsaw family, we came together for him, and I was delighted that he was the one who scored the goal. Um, you know how I feel about him. I've spoke about it loads of times before. Today just goes as another uh, another day to show what uh, what a fantastic bloke he is. Um, and I thought, you know, you know, as I always say, zeros, uh, and I love that. I thought everyone. Uh, put a shift in for the team to give that zero, uh, to get that clean sheet. Uh, great for Jackson again, delighted for him. Um, I think Priestley was monumental once again. Uh, it must be very, very difficult to play against Priestley. Um, and we look solid, so loads and loads of pleasing things. Um, we worked our socks off. We could have scored more. Um, uh, there was a couple of chances there, you know, Freddie and Jammer getting in each other's way and Sturkey with his header um, would have settled everything down. and. Uh, and made it more as comfortable as it deserved to be, but sometimes one nils are the best ones. I was going to say you said on a number of occasions one nils your favourite scoreline can get the heart going at times, but when you've got a defensive unit like we've got the midfield three in there as well, I thought they were fantastic again today as a group. They've really earned this week, haven't they? Yeah, they've earned it, they've earned it through their just through their hard work. You saw the work that we've, and we've had to do it in very, very different ways in each of the three games, which is also pleasing for me. Um, the game against Notts County was, we saw that we had to show that resilience to come be from behind, but also um, we had to be really on it in terms of our out of possession stuff. We had, you know, there was loads and loads of work went into the triggers of that game and, and we had to be really on it in that, for that way. The game on Tuesday night, we had to be brilliant in both, in both boxes, but brilliant in our box in particular. Uh, and defending that lead and then today and tonight I thought once we'd worked out uh, and we spoke about the way that they were going to play we knew they're going to drop into two banks of four we knew that they were going to to try and steal and counter uh, sometimes it, it, you know the pitch didn't wasn't great today for us it, it, it didn't help us kind of move it quickly and we, I think we got caught out a couple of times because of that um, but the resilience that we showed to make sure we we're going to keep a clean sheet was there and it was evident for everyone to see um, and I thought second half especially we were we were very very good very pleasing. You spoke about making changes at certain points in games over the duration of the season, and as a group still learning from it. Do you feel you're still learning and learning every game to then recognise when those changes need to be made, like Jamil coming on at yeah, half time? Yeah, I just felt like it was the game for Jammer as I stood there and watched. Um, I felt like, as I say, the way that they set up. Uh, I, I, it wasn't going to be one of them with the spaces that they were offering us to, to go and play through them in the way that sometimes we do. Um, it wasn't there for us to, to because they were just in there, they were stuck in there. They were stuck in that two banks of four, moving from side to side really, really well. You can see they're extremely well coached uh, and well drilled, but I felt like we were going to get some overloads in the wide areas um, <clears throat> or through our wing back, uh, outside centre arse, which in the end it told, you know, Donovan was the one who played the pass. Um, and it felt like a game to, to bring Jamil on. It also felt like a game not to upset it too much. Um, you know, recognised as the referees making up the amount of time that he's, we're playing at the end there. You know, that was a, a farce, I think. Uh, and we all saw that. As he's making up the time that we play, you, you're thinking, do I change something? Do I bring up a few lit fresh legs on? They've got five new bodies on the pitch. But we were up to speed in the game, and I think it was very, very uh, difficult to change anything. I felt like we were... Um, all aligned in the way that we, we were going to win the game. So um, a proper team effort from, from 1 to 25 or whatever many it is uh, for all of us. Um, you know, we wish everyone a Merry Christmas going into the next game at home being Boxing Day. And we've done it in a good way. So fantastic week, um, uh, really positive one. Listen, 
onwards we go. You mentioned 25 there, the number of Ryan Sturk, whose work rate, I think, goes a little unnoticed at times. He was leading that high press and again showcased what a fantastic player he is on the day. Yeah, we've moved him slightly forward um, and, and had comms at the base of it all kind of conducting everything, which I think he's great at. Um, I think with comms there, it has given Ryan and Oshin. I thought Oshin did some fantastic midfield runs in that first half, got into some good areas. Uh, so the three of them, We've said it, you know, when, with the running stats that we get, when we get the three of them going in the way that they do and purring in the way that they do out of possession, um, it gives us a fantastic platform to play from. And I think they run over teams at the times, uh, which I thought for large spells of that second half, it looked like we are going to do that. You know, we spoke about Ryan, we're going to do plenty of heading practice with him this week uh, for them ones that come across. Um, but yeah, listen, he's played more or less every single minute of every game for me and he's been uh, everything that I knew he would be and more.